What's going on guys and girls? Um, fresh off of that Thanksgiving holiday, that deep fried turkey was unbelievable. Um, pretty much, that's all I've been doing for the, I, I guess, I don't know, since the last time I made a video, or if you're listening to this on a podcast, since the last time I made a podcast, um, it's been a while, probably like four or five days. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed your holiday as well. Um, <clears throat> but we're going to go right into it, man. And we're going to just talk about one of the issues that's happening currently that's really pissing me off. And um, yeah, you guessed it. Uh, Janae Rice, uh, Ray Rice, Ray Rice's battered uh, wife that is now saying that Ray Rice only hit her once. Ah, oh, man. Yo, you, you know what it is? It, and people wonder why people, other people just don't respect African-American Negroes. Like when you come out and you say something like that, you know what should be the topic? If Ray Rice is really Ryu from Street Fighter, or is he, you know, Guile, or, or you know, or Ken. That should be the issue right now because the motherfucker has a mean uppercut. It shouldn't be whether or not he only hit her once because we know, uh, well, I can't say we. Um, I'm very, very good with understanding the way people move because of the, the, the type of place I was brought up in. So I can understand people's mannerisms better than they even understand it. And I study people's movements, how they act, what they do, things like that. That's what kept me alive. I watched that video several times in slow motion, in fast speed, different type. I tried to dissect it completely to see, is this man really a guy that's a first time offender? That motherfucker has been beating her for a minute though. You know, but usually he probably is more careful about it as far as bruising and he probably never really like hit her in the face without like putting like a phone book on her first or something like that, like old school. He definitely abuses that woman physically. It's not only mentally. You know what I'm saying? As again, I've spoken I've spoken about this issue several times and I'm trying to make you understand. Ray Rice is a little man and little men are more likely to beat women than big men. It is just a fact. I I'm, I'm not trying to say anything that like a like if you see a little dude he's probably beating the fuck out of a I'm not saying that. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just giving you factual evidence. The same way that it's more likely for a female to be beaten on Super Bowl Sunday than any other day in the year in America. That's also factual. You don't believe me? Google it. These things are verified. So what I'm trying to say is this. We have to understand that Ray Rice didn't only hit this woman once. That's, that's what I want you guys to understand. And I want everybody to also understand that it doesn't make sense for people to ignore the fact of what's going on. Janae is making it very impossible for a lot of other women that are actually being physically abused to stand up. Because this dumb, ignorant female, and I say that with all due respect, with her mom sitting next to her in the interview, when you say these things and you say things like, I'm not a victim, you actually withdraw your hand from the movement of a lot of other people that are being abused that are scared to speak up. And you, you have to, you know, like when you're in the spotlight, we, we, have, we all have an opportunity when you're in the spotlight to do the right thing or do the wrong thing. More than likely, a lot of people are going to do whatever is beneficial for them. You know, whatever's beneficial for you, I don't have a problem with it. But you got to understand in the longevity of things, if you never do anything to help anybody else other than yourself, you, your time is going to come and it's going to be a very, very bad time when it does come. So you have to understand that when you're saying you've only been hit once, you look like a fucking buffoon with the red ass out with no g-string on you're a fucking clown and so is ray rice and i and like i said even with all this that i'm saying about ray rice i told everybody that the decision to suspend him indefinitely would be overturned because i know that he told the nfl what he really did and i also know that the nfl had proof of what he did do because the nfl could go back and find out when was the last time you took a shit 15 years ago so I'm pretty sure they could have found out where the fuck this video was and got their hands on it. So I don't buy that bullshit that they, it was the first time they saw it and all that other bullshit. They, they saw it for a while. So I knew Ray Rice would be able to be uh, available for a team to sign him. Now, I also know that if the team that's brave enough to sign this jackass is going to have a lot of problems. Because that's the worst thing for you to do. In this day and age, in 2014, remember, women had to wait longer than everybody, even black African-American African -American Negroes do certain things. So when you do something that you have video proof of, 
and you outright say, you know what? I know the motherfucker did a Hadouken, Hayuken, and a what what do cap. You know what I'm saying for all my Street Fighter fans out there? I know he did all that, but I'm gonna still sign this motherfucker. You're gonna have women standing up in lines, bro, organized in front of your stadium, in front of your buildings, in front of your places and your practices of work, just going hard, dog. I'm talking about going hard like you took that extra Viagra by mistake because you forgot you took the first one. That's how hard these females gonna be going, and rightly so. Because there's a lot of things. I'm gonna tell you right now. Listen, nobody's perfect. I'm not perfect. I don't, yo, I don't beat the fuck out of a lot of dudes. I don't did shit that I, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I didn't think about it. You know what I'm saying? I, like, I, I wasn't as logical as I am now because I couldn't be logical where I grew up. But just thinking about it and understanding the way that it is, that's one thing that even my thuggest of thuggest homeboys didn't do was beat their women. So I was fortunate for that because there was a lot of other thug ass niggas that be beating the fuck out their, their, their females. But my dudes would be like, yo, you know what? She acting up. I'm about to go fuck this bitch real quick. Yeah, it was still ignorant thinking, but at least they weren't beating on these fucking females. Like, they're guys, bro. Like, I think Ray Rice could have probably knocked the guy out with that fucking hook that he hit. Yo, yo like, bro, like, dude, what, yo, I, it just seemed too easy and too relaxed. So my whole point about the situation is it's no way that it happened the first time. And Janae's mom is not trying to lose her money. That's why she's sitting next to Janae at the interview that she's having because she's trying to let her know, like, listen, bitch, we ain't going back to the hood. Ray Rice gonna keep beating your ass after this is done. It don't matter. I gotta make sure my shit is right. And that just lets you, un it makes you understand that people, you know, you know self-worth is something that has no value in most cases for women because the influences and the things that people allow them to believe is more of something that they rather have than their own self-dignity. And it's sad because it's sad that a woman would rather get her ass beat than figure out a way to make it on her own. Like you, you're willing to get your ass whipped. Like, listen, I'm not saying that, you know, me and my wife, Mrs. Jumai don't have arguments. I'm not, I'm not saying that. There, there's no relationship that you ain't having arguments with. But like, if I feel that I got a hitter, it's time for, it's time for us, yo, we gotta split this shit up. Because I have too much to lose. And these guys that have all these millions on top of millions, I don't know what kind of logic they're using. It makes no sense for you to be known as a woman beater. You could be known as a dude that fucked the guy up the street up the ass, and now you're straight. You could be known as a lot of other things, bro, where dudes just overlook it. But when you have video footage of you beating, yo, bro, you knocking your wife out like you're in Friday, and you're taking the place, you know what I'm saying, of Debo, like, it, it doesn't make any sense. And, that, and that's what my point is. We can't allow it to happen. We can't allow this shit to go. It, it doesn't make any sense. That, that's what I'm trying to make you guys understand. It just doesn't make sense. Who comes out and says, I've only been hit once? Like, do you see how stupid? You could just see the hood radish ra ratchetness in her face. But the reason that I blame her completely now and not Ray Rice is because at this point where it's prevalent, and everybody understands, like, yo, we all seen the video. Sort of like when the Kim Kardashian video came out with Ray J. Like, yo, Kim, yo, you a lazy fuck. You didn't do nothing. You just got fucked. Like, everybody knows that about Kim. She just lays there and gets fucked because she don't feel that she needs to do anything because she got money. We know now that Ray Rice will knock a bitch out. It, it's nothing that you can say. It's nothing that you can do to change the mind of anybody about that. It's nothing that, you can't, it's nothing that anyone can possibly say to make anyone with any kind of logical mindset believe that Ray Rice has only hit Janae once. There is no way. But yet still, this dumb female is going to go on national television where there's so many other females that are scared and are like just mentally unable to stand up to the motherfucker that's coming home and just beating the fuck out of them. And this is just gonna help to make them seem like, you know what, you see? This is why I'm not saying nothing. That's what the issue is. It, it's bigger than everything else. Like, oh bro, you know, oh no, Ray Rice is playing football. It's bigger than all of that. I'm not looking at it for that. I'm looking at it because I know, yeah, are there ratchet females 
that people will say, yo, you know what? That bitch deserved it. Yeah, that, yeah, bro, absolutely. There's dudes that deserve their ass whipped by their females. I understand that. What I'm saying is the way that this man is carrying on. Unacceptable. That's what I'm saying. And I, and I was having a conversation. I forgot who I was having a conversation with about Jay-Z. They brought up Jay-Z. Oh, yo, bro, he not about that life. He didn't hit Solange. I'm like, you niggas got to be the dumbest people on the planet. And you wonder why nobody respects your dumb asses. Jay-Z is from the fucking hood. He understands what he has to lose. You think him trying to be a badass and hit Solange means nothing to him? When he's trying to get a bill, he's trying to be worth a billion dollars, you dumb fucks. That's the problem. That's the problem with this young community. You guys listen to fucking Bobby Shmurda and you really think he was selling crack in fifth grade. Like, bro, I don't give a fuck what, what's going on. You Look, okay, is are there people that allow dudes that are younger to, you know, to transport drugs and do shit like that? Yes, there is. I'm not saying that that doesn't happen. I live that shit. I understand it. I'm just saying that this nigga wasn't doing it. That's all I'm saying. But you know what? A lot of other young kids will think that this shit is, is what's up. They'll say to themselves, you know what? I should be doing this shit. And they'll run around and go right on ahead and think that it's cool to start selling crack and just do whatever. Because you're, you're too susceptible to what's available. And yeah, you could blame the parents, which most people will do. I blame the parents as well. But even if you have good parents, it's very, very hard to watch everything that your kids do. So when all you see that's publicized is a woman getting her ass whipped and Bobby Smurda selling crack since he was in the womb and before the fucking, you know what I'm saying, the, the umbilical cord was cut. You want to know if it's real. You want to know if that life is, is realistic. And that's what I'm saying. There's nobody there telling them like, yo, this is all bullshit. Like, how do you convince a woman that watches Janae say, oh, yeah, he's not a bad guy. He just fucks me up every now and again. How do you convince that woman that's really getting her ass whipped on a regular basis to go and go tell somebody? How do you do that? When it's prevalent, it's on a fucking whoever, Bob or Walters, whoever fucking show it's on. How do you help that person? When this dumb fucking asshole is saying she's not a victim and Ray Rice is Dr. Seuss. You gotta be fucking kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Did Ray Rice hit her once? Yeah, he hit her once times a thousand. Dumb fuck, you got your ass whipped. I can't even do this shit no more, man. Go to the next vid. One love.